What's up guys? Today we're watching season 4 episode 2 of Breaking Bad. So the last episode was pretty kind of hectic I guess you can say. You know Walt and Jesse are still alive as they should be because you know Jesse killed Gus and basically for like half the episode we were waiting for Gus to get there and then he finally does, barely says a word, slits a man's throat, dip, and then, well, before he dipped, he said something, but that was like one thing, but, you know, Jesse and Walt still work for him, Mike helped them clean up, and what's it called? At the end of the episode, we saw, like, what's his name? I already forgot his name, Gail. We saw Gail's place, like, you know, as a crime scene, and his lab notes were there, and I am scared to see what's going to happen with that. Maybe they're going to bring it up in this episode. Maybe not. You never know with this show. But I'm ready to see what's going to happen. So let's just get into it. Basically, any lawman worth his salt's going to spot that, yeah. Who is that? You're not Mike? Well, if stealth is what you're aspiring to, you'd best go with something more compact oh so he sells guns why am i just not pick, like understanding that he pulled a gun tried and true no nonsense about it am i tripping or is that the dude from supernatural he low-key looks like the dude i forgot his name and i haven't seen that show in a while but yeah Either way, you're going to want to practice your draw. <laughs> He's going to need practice, bro. Well, that there is why you're going to pay me five times what you'd pay your neighborhood gun store. Serial number has been filed off. Oh. So you have to pay that man five times? Like, the price? The original price? That's a lot, but, you know, understandable, I guess by the lawyer, but I do feel the urge to ask you. Are we strictly talking defense here? Yes. You never know with Walt. Well, it did seem like every other time he was defending himself. Well, Jesse, actually. Well, he hit the dudes with a car and then shot them. I'm just gonna stop overthinking it. Why do I feel like something's already go wrong with that gun? Like, something's bound to happen since he just got it. But I'm hoping not, you know? Thanks, buddy. See, I only remember that dude's name is Mike because someone came at me in my comments and was like you're already through a few seasons and you don't know who Mike is and I'm like okay so his name is Mike we gotta remember that <laughs> got a whole base system something like that And a Roomba. <laughs> Jesse! What's up, brother? It sounds like an earthquake out there. Yeah. Hey, man, I saw Andrea at a meeting yesterday. She asked about you. Were they like looking at each other because they're noticing that he's starting to use again? The fact that they noticed because they used to be like somewhat encouraging him in a way and he was like, nah, I don't do it no more. But then now he's doing it again. Thanks, man. But um, 12 steps and all that. 
Seriously? So he's actually going through with it? Okay. Good for you, Skinny Pete. Same with Badger, too? So not Badger, too. Left for dead, yo. The way them bitches get all cranial when you cap them in the head, it's like... Damn, Skinny Pete. You fucking switched up real quick. Baddest ass Nazis of the whole Nazi family. Zombies are dead, man. What difference does it make what their job was when they was living? Dude, you are so historically retarded. <laughs> oh my god. Why are they even talking about this shit? Well, obviously because they're on they're on shit, but Where do you come out on all this? <laughs> Agree, totally. He's been he's anxious about something. That just happened. <laughs> the fucking Roomba. What about it? This place needs. I didn't think he was gonna throw a party, but okay. I look, he thought bro was about to have a seizure or something. Getting that practice in. Yeah. Even though you get that practice in, why do I feel like it's still not going to go according to plan? What time is it? Why are you up, Hank? Well, you are a grown man. You could be up whenever you want. I'm just... Is that the minerals he's been buying? I don't... It is mineral... minerals, right? I don't know why I was about to say elements. Why did I switch up so quick? Why did she have to pull up like that? When did she get to bed like that? Like, you're looking at a rock at 2.24 in the morning. This is not a rock. This is a mineral for like the 10th time. Period. I was right. It's 2 in the morning. I'm just asking if maybe you, you know, want to- Even last I counted, Marie, there are four bedrooms in this house. Damn, Hank. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. It's, it's just like the amount of time it takes to go down. Is, um, is the car wash? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's God. to take the next step here. We need to look into buying this car wash. Oh, we still have... Skyler. The fact that she keeps talking about that over the phone. Are you screening all my calls? No. It's like she's smart in some situations, but in this one, it's like, why? Like she's not that smart in this situation because why do you keep talking about it over the phone? I'm telling you, if you're not willing to pull the trigger on this, I am more than happy to call Goodman myself. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I will handle it, okay? Roomba's trying to clean up after you messy hoes. Why are you messing with his Roomba? Leave it be. You're gonna work. I got bitch. Ah! Damn. 
<laughs> Keep this party going. I mean it, yo. I mean, I want this place kicking harder than a sensei when I get back. All right. You got it. They all tired, man. But I guess he is just trying to distract himself from everything. Who are you? Hello? Yo, you the new guy? Yeah. You got something for me? So he's a new dude taking the place of the other dude that Gus killed. And Walt was really about to pull a gun on him and he made it so obvious that he had a gun. If you would, please. New policy. So they know about something? The air. What? Walter, you're never gonna see him again. Really? I... That has to be a lie. So it's like after all that, he's just like no more seeing you even though you're working for him and the corolla gets a hand wax, right? hand wax. Okay. what is she even doing they didn't even buy the car wash yet i don't think jesus It's like, I feel like as soon as Marie got there, he just didn't want to anymore, but he's still going. Hell's yeah. Very nice. Hell yeah, yeah Hank. Hey! That made me feel so awkward. Hi. We've got a spare bedroom. I'll see you tomorrow. I just feel bad because it's like I know she's trying to like encourage him and help him but it's like he doesn't want it for some reason. Listen, I was thinking about cooking tonight. Sorry. Marie. Get out. My god, I'm like, <sighs> Hank's really pissing me off with this shit. Cause Marie is so sweet. She's trying to encourage him in everything. And it's like, as soon as he sees her, his mood goes down. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Uh, you got, um, yeah. Why is she showing up? In my mailbox. This was you? You weren't good at hiding it. I don't want to know. But you got to tell me one thing. Is someone going to come looking for this? They did. So you're pulling up to that man's house. Why are you going there? Like, are you just gonna try and kill him? Or you actually wanna talk? Cause at this point I can't tell. Cause you're carrying that gun with you. And you say it's for defense. We know he wants to kill you, but he can't do anything right now. So. It's like you just had a Joe Goldberg moment. Put the hat on, different persona. Is it Gus calling from inside? Go 
go home, Walter. So I'm right. How? How did you see that man coming? Maybe he has cameras. Marie, is that my minerals? Yes, Tank. How many boxes? I don't know. Three, four, hundred, a million. It's like the only time he'll talk to her is whenever he's getting his minerals. Excuse me. Mr. Wellenitz, my name is Skylar White. How do you do? Oh, she's talking to eyebrows, dude. But she's doing it herself. Walt said not to. On your hands and knees and uh, scrub like a housemaid? With all the chemicals eating into your nice skin and stinging in your eyes? Why are you saying it like that, bro? You act like she doesn't know how to work. So, with that in mind, is there a figure you can quote me? One which you think would adequately take... Ten million dollars. For the car wash. I can't... I don't think that's reasonable, but if someone tells me it's reasonable... ...area, giving me an estimate of your annual cash flow here. To which I applied the industry standard multiplier and added the market value of your real estate. Woman's been doing her work. On top of which, I generously added an extra $50,000. So as not to be insulting. Period. She's smart. $20 million. In a way. Okay. And why are you going up? Wants to buy my car wash. But he's not man enough to come in here and face me himself. Instead, he sends his woman. Excuse me? Walter White wants to buy my car wash. The way he's portraying it. And it's like, that's not even that way at all. She just went in herself because Walt's been like putting it off. Wait, so was that not right? It was Mike calling him and not Gus? You might I couldn't really tell. Tail better if you're planning on making it happen. Of. So. I appreciate that when you were going to kill me, you were simply following orders. I get that completely. But it's just so weird to word it that way. Like when you were going to kill me, like. What's with the piece? Right hip inside your waistband. I noticed it the other day at the lab. See, you make it so obvious. You won, Walter. You got the job. Do yourself a favor and learn to take yes for an answer. I, I wonder if Mike would ever switch sides, you know, like, bye Gus, I'll be cool with Walter. And I'll do the rest. You done? Loki, it seems like he wants to say yes, but... I don't know. It's like, I can't tell with Mike. Mike has like an unreadable. <laughs> See, I didn't expect that either. Unreadable expressions. Thanks for the drink. He's pulling a Gus. Instead, he just didn't kill a dude. He punched a dude and dipped. I was thinking like next week. Yeah, sure, man. Next week. We cool? We are cool. He just doesn't want to be left alone and I feel bad, but also like, you can't hang out with someone 24 seven, you know?
That Roomba won't be able to clean all that shit up. Unless it's broken. Did that guy break it? Well, I guess the Roomba's broken. But that's, like, besides the point. I just... I feel so bad for Jesse because that shit's really taking a toll on him. Like, it's affecting Walt in like a totally different way. Like, it doesn't even seem like it's affecting Walt much because Walt killed two dudes. Plus, he. I was gonna say Jane too, and like technically he did, but he didn't like shoot her or anything, you know? But what's he called? He shot those two dudes and he seemed to like somewhat be okay. Jesse had to kill Gail and he's like now trying to find a way to like distract himself 24 7 and it's like that's ass. Like I feel like it's not gonna get that much easier for him. But I mean with the shit that they're into you gotta do what you gotta do to stay alive you know. And what's it called? At this point, it's hard to tell what Mike is feeling. Like, love Mike. He's great and everything. But it's like, like I was saying earlier, before he punched Walt and shit, he has the most unreadable expressions. Because it's like, it's like at one point I think he wants to help, but then also he doesn't. But then I guess he's also just like kind of fearing for his life because he knows what Gus is capable of, like, capable of, like, if he does switch sides. But also, at the same time, you know, it's just, like, you never know. And I, I have a feeling that sooner or later, Gus and Walt will face each other again. I just don't know if that would be anytime soon. And it's just, like, he, this whole episode, Walt was making it so obvious that he had a gun on him. Like, just the way he was standing and everything. Like, my god. But I mean, when you're not used to having a gun on you, how else? It's harder for other people to, like, mask it, you know? But if he wants to, like, sneak up on someone, he's gonna have to figure out something. Because Mike was able to tell that he had a gun. So if Mike can tell, that means probably anyone else can tell. And that's not good. But, what's it called? I don't know, this episode, not too too much happened. Like it wasn't too big of events that happened, but it was so interesting to see. I'm just, I don't know why I'm ready for it to like pick back up again and like major shit like starts happening again. Even though it's like, what if they kill a major character? I don't know. But, what's it called? Hank. Love Hank. Love seeing him go through re like recovery, rehab and shit to like help him walk again. Even though he is struggling. But I mean, that's a part of the process. But the way he's treating Marie, he makes me want to fight him. Like, she was even... She, he was doing so good with that dude who was helping him like walk again or whatever and it's like as soon as Marie came in his mood went down and it's like why she's literally cheering you on rooting for you and you treat her like that pisses me off like I still love Hank but he's really getting on my nerves right now but yeah I'm ready to see what's gonna happen with Hank, hopefully he starts getting better sooner or later. And I'm ready to see what's going to be happening with, like, Walter, Jesse. What is Mike going to do, you know? So, I guess, come back for episode three.